recording has started. We are we are commencing. Where the hell is the safe I'm looking for? Uh, oh yeah, Fang had like a big fight. Fang beat up her friends. Their friends. Someone's friends. That's probably this one. <clears throat> Alright, let me just straighten my... Let me straighten my tie. Seriously, though. I get so few views and kudos and bookmarks compared to everyone else on there. I write too bigly. My, my writing is too purple prosy, I think, is the problem. Like, I'm too... I'm too wordly. I, I feel is the problem. Not that it's bad or inherently purple prose, but, like, everyone there is like, listen, buddy, we get it, but you're filling out your word count for the teacher, and everyone can tell you ran out of, like, things for the essay ten pages ago. <laughs> I don't know, I just like being explicit, because I don't know what's what's good enough. What's too much? What's too little? Nobody knows. I don't. And I'm everyone, apparently. Hey! All right. Oh, I got that out of my system, because there's always something to get out of your system. If you're coming over here, buddy. I'm going to put my arm around you. I'm going to tell you this. I'm, I'm still trying to learn Spanish, but boy, I'm not putting in the effort. Things are going pretty well when we discount Trish's weekly attempt to talk to Fang. That's pretty non-persistent, all things considered. That's about as much as the average uh, Discord weirdo will attempt, really. Non-persistent uh, Discord weirdo, I guess. Rose and Stella have helped with that. In fact, they have done a lot in our relationship. It's really weird, almost like we're doing some sort of harem thing or non-committal. I don't know what to say about it. It's almost like it's done for merchandising reasons. <laughs> but redistracting Trish and giving us space just to be together on the weekends from everyone. Only downside is... The only downside to it all is the fucking gardening we have to do during our alone time. Still, things are going good. And right now, I'm gonna win all prank war. Oh, this was the part that I was talking about. She may have gotten me with that stupid kiss prank. How the hell she found a mouse that small, I'll never know. But I got a special packy treat for her today. For once, I can use my weebiness for the greater good. I did remember to remove the, the little dude picture, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's out of there. Hey, Sweet Tooth. Fang groans at the pet name. Honestly, it hurts me to say it too. I considered using her mom's pet name, but after last time, I didn't want to tempt her. Phase one complete. She's to distract and detect the box in my hand. Want to play the pokey game? Or pocky. It's pocky, right? Pocky. Pokey. How do you play that? Well, I hold one of these. I love that it's, like, obviously wasabi colored, <laughs> too. I take one of the sugary green sticks from the box and hold the plain end to my teeth. I turn our trees, then you have to take a whistle of lips and try to bite off as much you can without touching my face. Fang narrows her eyes in suspicions and cautiously moves ahead towards mine. Is this chocolate? She moves in and crunches down on the books like centimeters from my... That's a long distance. Let's centimeters, plural, is an inch minimum. Ish. Two centimeters is like less than an inch, but once you hit three, you're over. Jackpot. Her face contorts immediately. She spits it out. Wasabi is a very weird kind of spicy. I had like fresh made wasabi once. And uh, it's a it, it, it gets to the roof of my mouth, and it gets a woo. Unlike spicy food, which makes my mouth go woo. Very different. What the fuck is that? Where did you even get those? What is this spiciness? I don't can't place it. I barely can my laughter as Fang downs the rest of her coffee. None of us just has a fucking cup of coffee with her. <laughs> In the fucking class. Let's just say Stella gets all sorts of weird snacks from Japan. Like wasabi pocky sticks. Fang looks ready to strangle me, but I have one card left to play. <clears throat> I have amnesty for today. April Fools. Payback for the mousetrap from the other day. She growls that and jabs me in the shoulder. I guess I deserve that much. Before I can make my retort, an answer comes over the speakers. I, I listen. We're gonna, we're gonna look this up. I want to know what the fuck that actual sound clip is called. Hold the phone. Are your phones held? Thank you. Please secure them. It is called Spear Yell Rumble Voice PA. <laughs> Jesus. And the fucking sound the music is called We Just Turned On The Microphone In Our Programmer's House. <laughs> well, that's a great thing to call your audio files. <laughs> I know, Scary Dave. 
Anyway, this is where he's like, them. Oh, I'm so pronouns. I'm so pronouns now. I'm such a progressive man. After, you know, being a fucking asshole. <laughs> Look how progressive I've gotten. Turning back to Fang, her hands are trying to cover her face. Except for the frown that's impossible to hide with a long beak. I think you're okay. An embarrassed smile forms as she begins to shake her head. Yeah, I'm good. Just was reminded of something embarrassing. Sir Charles? Trish. Trish. I can't help it. I see her every day. We tried signing up for as many classes as possible. And now we'll regret it. Oh, wait. that's. A... We tried signing up to as many classes together as we could, and now we'll regret it. Every time I do, I'm reminded of this whole... Now, I'm not good at the pronoun game, Vang. What whole thing? That. The pronoun thing. Now things are different. Now I wish I hung out with Nasa more than her. There's some disdain in the way she said it. Now that they mention it, Trisha's been very weird lately. Should I mention to Fang the fact that every day in math period I try to check if there's a bomb under my seat? You're the one I see the least. It's such a shame. Fang starts stroking my hand on the table. Wait, wh wh when has Fang's name changed? When has it changed? When has the name changed? Tell me. I have to know. You legally have to tell me. Now, though, I've been thinking, and uh, I wouldn't mind uh, if you call me Lucy. Oh, oh, right now, right? I prefer it, in fact. I are you sure? Why are you making a big fucking deal out of it? Now, shouldn't you be like the first fucking person in the entire goddamn universe who's like, no, okay. And just like the nameplate gets slapped off the UI and he just goes. <coughs> There's virility to a voice, a stiffness in her nod. But if Lucy would like, listen, once you become Lucy, this outfit does not work. Ditch the outfit. It does not work. You. This is not a Lucy. Jeez. All right, then. I'll change the user interface. She blushes again and looks away. I test her name a couple of times. It's nice, really sweet, but... A fang fits more in my mind. Like, you can't be called Lucy and look like you belong in a punk band. I'm just saying, fang, you're kind of fucking it up for me. We had a whole vibe going. I disrespect your pronouns and you beat the shit out of me. <sighs> I need to know when this changes, because I'm kind of curious if there's something internally that handles this. Actually, I just remembered that the way internally this handles this, it probably doesn't connect it to pictures, so it has an internal thing for Lucy, specifically. Thank you for more in my mind. Wait, 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 Hold that fucking phone. Please. Please. Hold it. I need to look something up. Fuck. YouTube. Ugh, God damn it. Yeah, she's still called Fang in the, in the good ending. In the good ending, all the way to the end, she's called Fang. That's interesting. Interesting, Mr. Jones. Oh, look. <laughs> it's Lucy now. Nice. Oh, God. It's actually written out as Lucy. Interesting. Because cause Anon is A and Fang is F. But this is just Lucy in the code. Only you, though. I don't know if I'm comfortable with everyone else saying it. Yeah, because everyone else is going to be like, what the fuck are you doing call being called Lucy? <laughs> I see. Now, thank you for sharing that with me. You know, if this was ending 4 and not written by a bunch of weirdos, that would be kind of cute, because that kind of detransitioning means a lot to some person. But I don't think Anon has the capacity in this ending to actually know what the fuck is going on. You know, it's like if an alien who doesn't understand what sex is gets told, like, I want I want to lose my virginity, and it's like, I don't know what a hymen is. What the fuck are you talking about? Why is this important to you? Get out of here. You're weird. Now nah, both of us are blushing. Well, avoid in the moment, I might as well ask. Anyways, Flucy. Don't stress yourself over it. Right, right. Anyways, um... Prom, right? Am I right, gamers? <laughs> Amber's, yeah, Fang's Amber's eyes zero in on mine, and I already fucked it up. The pleading gaze balls through my souls and feel an unstoppable urge to comfort in any way possible. 
Fast and Lucy. Get out of here, Cloaker. No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> uh, you want to go with me? I can't afford the tickets, but hey. <laughs> okay, I'll look this up, by the way. This song is called Fuck, Fuck You Like I... L Fuck You I Like the Shit Post. It's a good song. This game is good. I like it a lot. But man, if anything, isn't just the one that gets me. Because, again, I would... I'm totally on board with the idea of the detransitioning and everything. But I feel... I really, really feel that it works way better if Anon knows what the fuck it means. If Anon sits there and goes like, wow, huh, hmm. And it's not just like, I have to change words now, and it's, it's annoying, and it's more like, I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> this is weird, I've known you for so long, and you're all like this, and now it's not like... <laughs> I want to lose his face go redder and redder. It just feels disingenuous to me otherwise. Like I said with Gravik and I, you gotta earn that shit. You can't just have a sappy scene where Sage is like, wham, my parents, and then we never see the fucking parents. I need to see the parents. For some reason, I prefer the name Lucy over Fatma. I think the problem is that... Let me put it like this. That family does not deserve the heritage, is the problem. Also, everyone's name in that fucking game is just goofy. Mrs. Roberts? With an S? What? I'm perfectly fine if you go like, but the, the, the problem is the story doesn't focus on Fang's background. Like, Fatma is such a specific name, and everyone else is called things like Reed and Trish, Patricia, like names that are more grounded in Western culture, and you have this one person who's like from fucking India, was it? What? What? But it's not their main character trait, it's just the background details in the living room, and it just... Lucy works better because it feels like Fang fucking exists in this part of the world, and, and makes sense within it, because okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do the teacher thing where I like just put turn the seat. I can't do that with this chair; I would fall over. Um, imagine if I just turned the seat around. Like, listen, kids, you can play that card in two, two ways. No more for this particular purpose. One, the parents are culturally disconnected from Fang. Fang grew up in Western land where everyone is LGBT stuff. And Fang is disconnected from their parents because they are grown up in an American culture compared to the to the to the culture of the of the parents. That's a great story. Fantastic. Fatma makes sense because it's like they're clinging to their to their heritage. And Fang is like, no, I'm me. And they're like, no, we're us. And that's great. That's a good story. Tell that story. The other story, as far as I can imagine, on a, on a dime. There's probably others. Who fucking cares? The other story is that they that they that they're a recent move, and Fang was born before they got to Volcano High. So Fang is now steeped in this culture, and finds it exotic and mystical, and this idea of, like, changing your gender is very exciting. It's like, oh man, I get to be something my parents don't know or care about, and, and it feels liberating to be something different, you know? Move away from what she already knows. Neither of those are brought up, so making Fang this one fucking character with a explicitly non-Western name is just weird! <laughs> Like, if you're not going to use it, don't use it. It feels like tokenism at that point. That's the problem. That's tokenism. It's, it's there, but who cares? Or you play it up for a laugh. We don't even see Fang's parents in the flesh. They exist exclusively like fucking pictures. Which, I know the whole game is made of pictures, but you get my point. Okay, listen. That part, the, the one fucking part where they bring this up, where not causing them all, we're talking about the bonfire here. That point should have been brought up sooner. And made more of a point. What does it fucking mean? I don't know. Fang mentions while well, my family's like this. Why are they like that, Fang? Would you like to tell us something about the fucking world you live in and how that world affects you? Would you like to talk to us what your family's up to? Maybe for fucking once? Talk about some things, maybe? Some context? May I have a crumb of context, sir? <sighs> I hate it. It makes me angry. So much makes me angry right now. All of these visual novels are making me angry. Making me grumpy little boy. <laughs> <sighs> the lips turn the lips turn from a thin smile to an Im ma impressively massive grin. She tries to cover up her face and her snoot fucking vanishes because this pose does not work otherwise. And she tries to cover her face with her hands. What fails to hide a growing excitement until the <laughs> Okay, I have a problem with this. Why is Fang such a weenie? <laughs> Why did Fang turn into a weenie? Like Fang had a degree of assertiveness to them, right? And now that's just like, oh boy, this 
random guy is asking me out. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, he's not random. There's a lot of connections there, but it doesn't... <sighs> I would have preferred it if it starts off a little soft, and then later it's like, man, I can't believe this, you know. Although it's been a period of time that we haven't experienced, and we just saw, like, Fang just yell at Trish. So, they're, like, we just saw Fang yell at Trish. We already had... <laughs> Man, wouldn't it be great if we cared about Fang and we knew why Fang had troubles with their family and why Fang was in a difficult situation and we all felt like, man, I really want Fang to succeed. Man, I would love it if my protagonist is a relatable character that I care for and wants to. I want to. I want to go. Yeah, you get him. You get him. Yeah, put up them dukes, boy. Wouldn't that be great? A story where the protagonist is, it has a, has a point. Like, I know that in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker is a blank stand-in, and you need one of those characters. And if you don't have a blank stand-in, you need to have characters organically drop elements. Like, here's the thing, right? If you don't have a straight man in your story who who can ask the obvious fucking questions, you need to be more. You need to be less covert with your plot drops. Your plot drops, because no one's gonna ask the questions, right? You could just listen. You want to know who's great for this? Sage or Rosa or someone like that who knows Fang but doesn't know Fang's family and can go like, "Hey, Fang, you always mention your family is such a such a murderous lot who want to kill you and hang you and, and burn you alive. Why is that? That sounds kind of fucking weird when you think about it." <laughs> and it's like, well, where I'm from you know, someone like me would be wedded off or something. Or even as simple as, like, you know, your parents have that authority over you, you don't get to decide that for yourself, and if you do, you know, you just get kicked out of the family, and that's an honor crime, and then they kill you for honor-killing reasons. Like, you don't have to be extreme about it. You don't have to be like that. But just the idea of, like, no one there will ever understand this, and they will think I'm weird and need to be beaten into submission for this. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. The problem, here's the problem that I think happened along the way. From what I gather from the document, one of the big things that happened to Gobabakuin High that killed it is someone realized that this is going on and kind of sensitive. <laughs> someone realized, uh-oh, it turns out this is still happening to LGBT people. Might be a little awkward to actually talk about that stuff they want to talk about. So let's not. Let's pretend everything is fine. That's infantilizing and tokenizing and bad. Here's my middle finger. You may cash it into any bank. Corporate cowards. I want the bad queers. I want the, 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 the visceral story because it's fucking good. Because when you give kids and teenagers a story that doesn't compromise on itself, you, it does, like, you have to dumb it down a little bit. You don't want to tell kids about fucking genocides and stuff. But if you give them a story, they'll learn a lot more than if you tell them the feel-good version. Because kids ain't stupid. Teens ain't stupid if you're willing to talk to them. You know? They're still fucking idiots because they haven't learned everything. But but don't do this. They deserve this. They deserve the hard-hitting questions. Give it to them. Let them have it. Let them sit there and go, man. Because of all that tragedy and all the obstacles, I feel so good about the ending. Man, look at look at all these things Fang has overcome and how great that is. New family, new found family. Sure, they can't go visit the family, but why would Fang care about that family? They want to fucking kill Fang. So the plot is left on the table for no reason. It also creates a bit of a plot hole. As I mentioned, um, we don't know anything about Pangea, and Pangea appears to be a far better place than we live in, but it also is a world with one government. I think it's implied that they have no other countries because they have communities. And, like, I don't know about you, but uh, they don't seem to... Like, their problems are, like, immediate relatives. Like... Don't know about you, but as far as we know, Mrs. Roberts never calls out Fang. LJ doesn't call out Fang or Sage or anything. So it's like your your family cares because they're probably like the most affected by it on an emotional level. But you get it, right? You, you get the point I'm trying to to to, to, to approximate. Is this? Just... <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care. We're putting on we're putting on the line that I love so much. We're pu we're putting on we're putting on the cat line. <sighs> you, you need to you need to listen to this. You need to listen to this. That's what I am. That's what I am. I'm angry. Also, I probably blew your ears out because <laughs> I keep forgetting the sound is like really loud. Shit! I'm so dumb. Uh, anyway, let's. <sighs> we're not even thirty minutes in, and we're ten minutes in. <laughs>